Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture of Highway Engineering. In this lecture, we will be talking about design of pavements. So pavements are of few types. There is flexible, rigid, semi-rigid or composite or ICBP. That is interlocking cement concrete block pavement. But in our syllabus, only flexible and rigid pavements are there. So we will be talking about flexible and rigid pavements. So first of all, let's talk about flexible pavement. A flexible pavement have negligible flexural strength and are rather flexible in their structural action under the loads and they are constructed in couple of layers while rigid pavement possess very high flexural strength or flexural rigidity and they are constructed in the form of slabs in this lecture we are not going into the depth but i'll try to give you the short and point to point information regarding the flexible pavements so let's talk about flexible pavements Flexible pavements are generally designed and constructed for a design life of 15 years and the topmost layer is the costliest component in the flexible pavements and a standard design wheel load is made use for flexible pavement design and the combined effect of different magnitudes of wheel load, their repetition, the traffic growth rate are taken into account in the design in terms of cumulative standard axles. We will talk about cumulative standard axles later on. Also, it leads to rapid deterioration because the stripping due to the stagnated water on the pavement increases. Now, let's talk about the components of flexible pavements. I told you that flexible pavements are constructed in a couple of layers. The first bottom layer is the embankment and above which there is a layer of subgrade which is made up of superior soils. Then there is a layer called drainage layer. It is also called as subbase and above it there is a base course layer and above it there is a binder course layer and above it there is a surface layer which is the topmost layer. And the binder course consists of thin bituminous layer whereas the surface course consists of the thick bituminous layer. Okay, let's try to know a few points about these components. Uh, the first one is the subgrade. Subgrade is made up of superior soils and provides adequate strength to the layers above it. 50 mm thickness of it is recommended and it is the lowest layer and it provides support to all the layers and there are few tests to check the adequate strength of subgrade soil and these are the dynamic cone penetrometer tests, the triaxial compression step, CBR test and plate load test in which the CBR and plate load tests are very famous. Our second layer from the bottom is the sub base or drainage layer. This layer is particularly used for drainage purposes and in this layer high permeable aggregates are used. Since the aggregates are highly permeable they persist very low strength. This layer is constructed because if water enters through the shoulders or through the pavement surface, it should be drained off immediately without causing deterioration of the pavement. Okay, then our next layer is the base course, which is the third layer from the bottom. And it is basically designed to disperse the wheel load stresses to a larger area. High quality aggregates are used in this layer. It enhances the load carrying capacity of flexible pavement. Our second layer from the top is the thin bituminous layer. It is 2 cm thick layer and it is used to prevent water from entering into the lower layers. Now let's talk about our the topmost layer that is the thick bituminous surface. So this layer is designed with the help of Marshall Mix Design and it is the topmost layer of our flexible pavement. And it bears all the stresses and firstly all the loads are taken up by this layer.